My brisket game is tight. If you have my burn-ins, they'd make you believe in Santa Claus. Oh yeah, real big man. Well, you must be real proud of yourself buying that prime grade to get fancy YouTube shots. It's all about the pitmaster. I make any brisket amazing. What, you think you're the Alton Brown of briskets now? Who the hell are you, barbecue flay or somebody? I'm the brisket boss. You don't want to tangle with the angle of this dangle. My pull test will take you all the way to the danger zone. My bark has so much flavor your dog already tried to mount it twice. Okay, Hotshot, why don't you take your game to Walmart? Put that beef in your Dyna Glow and smoke it. You got the guts to try and make that brisket shine? Oh, well, I'm your Huckleberry. That's just my game. A Walmart brisket. It is so long. Welcome back to Everett Barbecue. I'm Joe Everett, and today we're gonna turn your basic Walmart brisket into a jiggly, wiggly, juicy Lucy that'd make any barbecue guru blush. Okay, gang, standard configuration. Uh, we've got four corners of hickory, and to that, I'm adding some pecan. I like to line the bottom with an initial layer of Kingsford here so that a lot of my lump doesn't slip right through the grates. What's going on? I'd like to make my own injection, so I'm gonna add my beef rub to a can of beef broth. But first, we wanna mix it in the blender to make our rub into some finer dust. And that should help out with some of the more coarse chunks. Add that to the larger can. Add another can of beef broth here. Walmart brisket, about ten and a half pounds. What? Okay, I've not really ever encountered a hole in the back of my brisket, but um, you go to Walmart, you, you may just have this happen to you. I've, the flat muscle appears to already be separated from the point, really. But, let's get to trimming. No time like the present. And this area here will not really cook well. Okay. A big reason I like to feel the brisket is just to test the fat, like there's still a little bit of hard fat and I'm gonna take the chance here. Okay, now to get to this monstrosity up here. I mean, this is really brutal. Whoever got a piece of this before me really did a disservice to this brisket, I'll tell you. Okay gang, that's about all the trimming we can do uh, without destroying the uh, entirety of the piece. I, like I said, I've never seen a um, brisket come out of the cryo back with the entirety of the back missing. I mean, it's, it's like Jesse Ventura and Predator, man.
I'm gonna save the rest of that for the wrap. We're gonna start it off with a little bit of the AP rub, and actually not even a little bit. It's a big old brisket, and we want our garlic and pepper all over it. Since we already have the beef rub in the beef broth, I'm only gonna add just a light coating of the uh, beef rub. Dinah's getting up to temp. We got some good smoke rolling. It's time to put this brisket on and maintain. Well, this is our Walmart brisket, y'all. On she goes. Shouldn't take too terribly long. Um, we may probe her here in a second. Two hours in, you're getting a live look with me, gang. Ooh, looking pretty. Mm hmm. I have to tip that. We got a little pooling going on thanks to our Jesse Ventura hole in here. But otherwise, there is some crust forming. Still not a great bark just yet. Bottom latch. Okay, doke. We're at buck fifty-six. Um, I think four hours in. So we've hit the stall. It's been in the fifties for a good, good while. But I really like the color on this thing. Come on in with me and check it out. Got a nice crust developed in here. Unfortunately, that pool in the center is something's going to have to be done about that. All right. Going back in. I left her out far too long. Unfortunately, this little dip in the action has cost us a little bit. The crust will not be present there. Save back a little bit of this broth. That'll be very nice in the cook, that's for sure. Ah, sure, we'll use all of it. Why not? Back in the smoker she goes. Risky magic on its way. Okie dokie, but gave it a really good two hour rest and still at 167 and yes it's 55 degrees in the garage oh yeah she wants to fall apart Let's give this Walmart brisket a little bit of slice and love here slice them very nice Okay, see how our Walmart brisket did here. That's the flat slice. All right, we're clapping without falling. What in our pull test is, uh, mm. don't mind if I do. That's how we did on our Walmart brisket, ladies and gentlemen. Um, very juicy and flavorful. Mm. 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 That's the end piece still has juice. Mission accomplished for that Walmart brisket. Super flavorful, all kinds of moist. Even the hole in the bottom of it didn't uh, deter our cook, oh no. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, really nice. Pull test, 
It just separates very easily and here's to you all out there. The bottom fat layer got a real nice render on it. Usually I have obligatory pieces of flat. I move right to the point. These flat slices are juicy. The smoke flavor though, not like I should be surprised that Dinah did a good job, but this is one of my favorite cooks just for the simple fact that you don't have to have some premium piece of meat to have a great barbecue experience is what I'd like to stress here. You have to keep a good fire. You have to keep a clean fire. And on top of that, you just need to really watch out for your tenderness and temps on brisket. It doesn't matter where your brisket comes from. It matters where that pit boss comes from. And I think that's the biggest lesson there. Never the rifle, always the hunter. Thanks for putting up with this cook. If you want more barbecue experiments and ideas, click subscribe. You can jump in the backyard and hang with my gang and get to cooking with us. My brisket game was on point or is it on flat? We make meat miracles happen up in here, son. It's a miracle I can cook anything. I can barely pour coffee. That's just one too many takes, ain't it, Boston? Oh, them cops close. I hope they get them.